Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. And as you can see, right where we left off, our bridge is kind of hanging there. Now this, remember, is only like one quarter of it. We've still got this whole section to do here. And I've marked out where I'm going to place my next two platforms here. Um, and I'm kind of probably going to do like a crisscross of supports right along these outer edges and probably the central section as well. So we're going to see how that goes. But first off, let's get ourselves our supports going up. Uh, all right, wood pillars. I'm just going to head on up as we did last time. Now remember, these are the central pieces, so we've still got the, the little inner pieces there on the other side. Um, I'm not too worried about having it too similar on both sides. It's going to be just as is. I think we need to go one more up. And let's go ahead and check to make sure we have the right height. Now, hopefully, we won't go ahead and uh, throw ourselves off the edge this time. Oh, almost did there. I think I can get away with one more. Should almost. Oh, nearly fell off there. Oh, we're just one off. We'll head on back. Go. We'll just place another support down here pillar should i say a pillar support either or and then we can place our block on again and then carefully head around to the edges again the problem is, is you can't really define how fast you're going to walk to one side that there and then let's join the two together and we finally have our next piece in place now the likelihood is is we're probably going to get pretty much the whole way across now Three, four. Can we get the sixth one in? We got the sixth one in. So I'm going to place the next piece probably about the. Um, we can go ahead and do that by. We go like so. And then I look down. That next piece is going to go there. Now, if I look at that, it's kind of sticking out. Um, so I don't really want that. So I'm going to go ahead and. Let's. Go ahead and just dig our way slightly into the side here. And I may do this for the other sections as well, because obviously it's a bit, you know, it's daylight now, so we can actually see what the hell we're doing for a start. But let's just go ahead and place that support in there. Hopefully we've measured this right. Wood pillar. Okay. Five. Sounded like it. Perfect. And then we can place our last our final sections going into our road section here now it's gonna need to come up a little bit but that's absolutely fine because we can have it going down um, and we have got a kind of idea on what to do with that well first of all we need to get the other support into place on that side and complete this section and obviously we need the other support into there as well. So just like last time, we're going to oh, be careful not to jump too far. Then if we get our pillars again, that wasn't our pillar. Pillar, thank you. We'll head on up. There we go. What I also managed to do as well is I actually managed to get rid of there were some holes in the water. I think you can see some just about there. Um, now, placing the blocks so low to the water, it caused that. And all I did to remove that was um, place a block with a gap between the water and the block. And that managed to, uh, to clear it. Uh, just be careful, obviously, the support, because it's not attached to the water, it needs supporting like you would any other um, beam going across. Have we got this the right height? I think we got the right height for the first time. Oh, I nearly fell off again. These are the dangers of working at height. Yo, can we reach across yet? Thinking one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can put one more. Six. Now we can reach across. Okay, so our pieces are in place for the next section. So we can go ahead and fill this out. Now, this is the concern I have as to whether or not it's going to take the weight. Uh, this was concern I had last time we came to it. So it's going to be 
going to be touch and go as to whether it'll take the weight. It's kind of, it's max stretch, so I'm hoping we've got enough play on angular supports to be able to bring it in. This is going to definitely be an interesting venture. Now what we may have to do is if it starts to collapse, we may have to look at giving it some support before we complete the top section, but I'd rather have this completed now because then at least I've got a way of getting across a little bit easier and working on it. So let's go ahead and fill this section in here. Now it does look like it is giving some good support. And now let's just head on one side. Again, we're just expanding the strengthening of the supports by going in closer. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, and not leaving it like overhanging massively here. So we've not got any support. So now this will support all this section here. Hopefully. That's the plan. Go ahead and we'll place another block here. One here. Oh no, don't hit anything. Saved. You see, now because we've got that section in there, we can just jump on up here and walk back up. Don't have to worry about anything like that now. A little bit easier to get across, which is what I want. Because obviously... One more, and then I can go in the two. Perfect. Now we can see if this is going to hold it now. It does look like it's got some good support. So I'm happy so far. Let's get some more done on this side, just so we're not overbalancing things. I don't know if it makes too much of a difference, but let's not risk it if we don't have to. There we go. And this bridge is finally starting to come. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yep. Oh, wow, that actually just collapsed half the bridge. I did a lot more than just uh, take out the section I was working on. So that kind of gave us the answer. So we know we need to uh, give it some more support. Just managed to. I was checking out a community build and I let it tick over for an hour and 40 minutes. Well, I, it was, I think it's about two hours last time for the break. Um, So now I've got another hour and 40 minutes. Perfect. Ugh. That was a lot of wood as well. Thankfully, I've got a lot of community people helping me out with the builds, so they've been providing me with some resources, so I may have to get them to help me once again with resources. Because uh, we really need to get this bridge going because it's their main way of getting across. Ugh, that's just disgusting. How much damage that caused. Let's get across to our platform so we've got both sides accessible again. Ugh. That really did some damage to my leg. Oh, that's going to hurt. That almost killed me. You can just see how important it is to make sure that you've got your supports in place. Uh, the other side's actually still intact, which is good. And just the risks of working at height. Can we break that from here? Oh, we can't. I don't think it's going to give me any support. Oh, it is. It is. Get to the side there. So should be able to break this go place a new one in move the side ones and happy days to go across here two four five six we're back across again. 
We did lose a good chunk of the uh, the bridge there. So what we need to consider doing is actually giving it some support from the underside. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem. There's one, I've got a broken leg, so everything I do takes like a million times longer. And two, have I gone on the right height? Trying to do stuff at this height is a bit of a pain. Um, because there's no way of me to get up there other than jumping up and causing more injury. Okay, so if you remember last time I had these supports in here and here, I'm actually going to change what I did there. So I'm going to do like a crisscross shape. So we're going to get these supports in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like so, and then like so, and then like so. So it should look a bit like this. So let's have a look at how it looks from the side. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking at there. And then hopefully, I don't think it's going to give much strength in terms of any more support. Will it just give three layers of support? So if anything happens to the top layer, the bottom two will still support it. It does look kind of cool. Um, now we do need to upgrade it, obviously. But I think what we can do is if we go across here, yeah, this here. Now, obviously, this doesn't really matter much for the middle section of this, but let's just let's see what we have in ways of wood pillar corner. If I go. So advanced. Now we could go, you know, somewhere like that. But, but it's not going to really help us. It's stuck in the middle of nowhere, really. Uh, oh, we eat. I'll eat my one and only food that I have. I'm really low on food. So um, I'm going to have to get the guys in the community to uh, borrow, borrow, lend me some a look what do we have that can or wood quarter block centered square wood pillar 50 word work it just turns the block around that doesn't work either I don't think the support beam is gonna work either No matter where you put the support beam, it's going to be balancing in thin air. Hmm. Deep. We go for a pole option. That, yeah, that's the out. What we could potentially do is if we choose a side that's connected to like say that though that's the third one is we've got third one in there and third one in third one in there like so I mean it kind of looks right And you're not really going to notice it massively. That could give some more support. 
it does give a little bit of an effect as well especially when we get the blocks actually on top of it so let's just go ahead and place our blocks on and now we can do the underside work no problem we can just you know do what i've just been doing there now, i want it to look good you know what i mean i want it to look right so it doesn't look like it's just like blocks floating in there that's what we want to avoid we also want to avoid another collapse as well I certainly think giving it some support midway is going to help us. Now, obviously, in theory, this doesn't need any support. I'm going to do it anyway. And while I'm up here to do this one, go ahead and do this like so. As I get the majority of the way. Obviously, we need to buy the things. Where did I put here? Copy rotation. So, or now in theory, they're not supporting anything because they're obviously balancing on one edge. Um, but the top section gives them some support as well. It does kind of some support. There we go. Obviously, they have no support on either side, so they should, in theory, give us a little bit of extra support. Uh, we may need to do the crisscrossing in between as well, but we'll figure that out. Let's rebuild this section that we already had. A little annoying, but, you know, these things, you know, sometimes take a bit of testing, so I'm not overly worried. Alright, that was the section we had before. Let's go ahead and go along the side, so then we've got our area to work with and we should be four six should be back to where we were before not killing myself one two three Five, six. That one's ready to go. Down there. Perfect. Make it nice and easy for ourselves. We could just chuck ourselves into the water because we're not going to break our leg doing that. We're slow to swim though. Have the water, please. Thank you. Two ways we could do it, we could balance it off that, you know, like we could work it off that angle, or we could just go straight across here like so. And I know that there is fine with that. Uh sorry, I am wrong. We are two along. There we go. That is in line with that. Then we can get our pillars. And obviously this is gonna hurt my leg even more. Simple. These things need to be done. Oh, that almost killed me. Get the pillar back on. Perfect. So we now have, or we will have in a second, both sides connected are uh, Side that we want. So, I want to say it's about there. Or, oh, it's gonna hurt. I actually think we're slightly too low. Build over the top. There we go. Perfect. And then we can repeat what we did on the other side to something on this side as well. But we have, you know, we, we have our design. We have it built. 
we just need to obviously straighten out the ground level and you know the, the problems we had with the previous thing all the support structures need doing so there's still quite a bit to do yet on this bridge but it's it's starting to look more like a bridge and less like a piece of crap um, which it is at the moment not just enough i am hungry once again so i'm going to end up dying so I also need more wood. Oh, I've got more wood. I just need to get some uh, more of these frames done. Okay, right. Let's go ahead and go across here so we know what we're working with. One, two, four, six. Obviously, that's pretty secure on that side as well. Less of a lean over than what this has here. We can edit this up, which is absolutely fine. As I say, what I'll probably do is I'll probably level it out to about here, and then we'll like kind of level the ground out so it's a nice smooth ramp going up. Uh, so we've got less damage to vehicles. Uh, we have found a four piece ramp system, so that's good. That'll save our vehicles damage. Stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to look. And that'll lead us straight onto the bridge. And then the bridge is obviously level with the rest of the community. And we've got the community work workshop area. That, that there, that looks awesome. Um, and yeah, we'll get some more community builds shown off as well at some stage. Oh, I am completely out of frames. Wood frame block. Go ahead and create 500 more because we're going to need more. And that's going to be us for this episode. We have got both sides connected on one half of the bridge. This is only half. We've got the other half yet to match. But we kind of know where we're going with it now. So that's a good thing. Still a bit dubious about the central support for this uh, section that we've been doing. That's going to be us for this episode three. Once I've got this side over, uh, before this count, can I reach across? No, I can't. It's too wide. So yeah, so that's going to be us. So I'm going to uh, pass to one of the guys in the uh, community to give me some food uh, because I haven't done anything whatsoever. Oh no, that's going to hurt. Oh, I nearly hit the ground. So yeah, so that's going to be me because we can have a look over here how the bridge is looking. So we've got the larger section here where the water is. Now, this pillar is in the middle of the water, and I was hoping to have them all out of the water. But realistically, that angle there, which is where it would have been if I'd have chosen to keep it out of the water, it's just that's just way too big with limited support. Um, I'm going to try and see if that piece there uh, will help here. Uh, so we'll probably put like uh, one that's three blocks in again on either side and see if that will help us uh, strengthen it. Uh, we may have to put some like uh, central sections in there as well just so it's got that extra bit of strength uh, but we'll have a look at that but until next time everybody take care for now I'll see you on the next one bye bye for now